The authors of the bill to repeal the DREAM Act are also looking to recent events. They write that the White House policy and the surge in immigrants crossing the border from Central America could cost the state of Texas under this act. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller shows us how conditions on the border are changing. A surge in children coming alone and crossing into Texas focused national attention on the state's southern border. This was a common scene last summer. Hidalgo County Judge Ramon Garcia says although the number of kids and families coming to the state was higher, the situation was not a new one. We've always had that. The border, you know, we've, we've always had migration back and forth. So how have things changed? They're still coming, but not in the numbers that they, they were last year. Last October through March, U.S. Customs and Border Protection saw more than 19,000 children coming alone to the Rio Grande Valley sector of the border. That same time period this year, a 53% drop to about 9,000 kids. The surge in children is waning, but debates in the legislature remain strong. At what point do we say that that's enough? We were not on a pathway to have the workforce needed to continue to be a great state. Debates about border security and what may be the future for those kids. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN Investigates. Texas legislature still has to work out state funding for border security in the budget. The Hidalgo County judge also has concerns about that. He worries recruiting for the Texas Department of Public Safety will take away deputies from border communities. He says the local sheriff's office cannot compete with the pay that the DPS has for starting pay. He has a point upon completing training. A DPS trooper makes about $43,000 a year. That goes up to $52,000 after one year on the job. A first-year Hidalgo County Sheriff's deputy will earn about $37,000. In June, the DPS will start an advanced training program for current officers who want to become troopers. Most troopers will be based in South Texas and along the Mexican border. A group of women in the state illegally and waiting for deportation say their treatment is not fair. The American Civil Liberties Union says the mothers began a hunger strike to protest their detention in the Carnes County facility. This is video from when we visited that facility before women and children moved in. The ACLU says children don't belong behind bars. Organizers retrofitted this facility for families after the surge of unaccompanied minors and families.